At UCLA, this is the School of Theater, Film, and Television right behind me. Uh, I'm a graduate from this school, and I was really proud that they brought in a VR experience. So I'm going to show you the the, the little um, the program here for it. So it's for the Sun Ladies VR experience. So what they did was they allowed us to see the actual um, VR film. So it was a shot in 360 in Iraq um, of the Sun Ladies, so this all-female uh, troop that are fighting the back against ISIS. Um, and then afterwards they had a, a, a live performance that we got to see. And then um, uh, some words that were um, shared with us by the director of photography, Celine. So one of the things she mentioned, which is always talked about with regards to VR, at least in the old days, they always talk about empathy and um, uh, VR, if you can, especially 360 video, once you bring it into um, like a, a certain area, you can film like the whole area and then, then the viewer can then see what it's like to be in that area. So Sun Ladies took us into the desert um, with these women who are training to fight. Um, but the thing that I think uh, like that the, the, the cinematographer was trying to say is that we have to kind of go beyond that now. I mean, I think that was one of the earlier uh, things that was like really brought up with like an earlier um, UN production called Clouds Over Cedra. It really brought a lot of attention to the refugee crisis, um, you know, coming out of Syria. And um, but the thing is, is like I agree with the director of photography. There's a lot of things that say like. I'm, in, I'm an American, I'm, we're here in the United States, and yet so many things are done in our name that we just let go by. So without any, um, any protests, any, um, uh, without, actually even a, with a lot without our own knowledge. So um, a lot of things that resulted in the development of ISIS were helped a lot by United States military action um, and our allies like the UK in the Middle East. So we kind of helped to create an environment where these women who were living peaceful or peaceful lives, they had to actually fight back um, against a situation that didn't necessarily have to develop. So um, I would, I just want to just recommend a, a book. I think people can check out Chris Hedges' book, uh, The Wages of Rebellion. Um, it's an author. Uh, and a columnist from the New York Times. He covered a lot of uh, revolutions during his time as a war correspondent for the New York Times. So his book kind of gives uh, almost like a blueprint, not necessarily for like an armed rebellion or armed revolution, but ways to um, impactfully make a difference in your life, to impactfully uh, resist a lot of these things that say are being done in your name by our government. Um, that create misery around the world. Okay? All right, that's all I have to say. And then let's go ahead and do a tour of uh, the Sculpture Garden, which is one of the most beautiful places in Los Angeles.